my worst nightmare. Buses. Ah! I have a bit of PTSD about this. <laughs> Well, after Izzy's little scratch, it was time to get... Oh. After Izzy's little scratch, it oh. was time to get some new clothes. And then we we didn't actually take that main road. It was a hickledy-pickledy road that went into Antigua. A couple of nights there. And then we came straight down here. Round here. And along here, and for some reason, we thought we were headed towards the border. Because I could tell. part of an accident is you feel traumatised from the accident. Oh, I'm going to cry again. But also from what could happen. Because if I hadn't managed to move, he would have just reversed over the top of me. Nightmare buses. Ah! What's wrong with buses? I'm stood behind a bus. What if you reverse? I, don't, I, I still can't. I, I can stand in between them. I have right. You're more maneuverable on your feet. I have a bit of PTSD about this. <laughs> I mean, they're beautiful buses, these decorated ones, but seriously, driven by cowboys, and I, oh, 
they just get they, they, they're still frightening me I'll get over it eventually but no Charlotte. I'll get over it eventually but at the moment it's too raw <laughs> Still on. <laughs> Oops, Carl's getting undressed. I better wait. <laughs> I'm a bit of sweaty blood today. I don't know why I'm so hot. Well, I do because it's blooming hot, but the jackets are much better. Yes, that might be part of it because actually we've turned up and we've got really sweaty because we've stopped moving. We're not as sweaty when we're moving. Ah. So that could be why you're feeling like a sweaty blood. Yes, because I would normally turn up like this. Yeah. Whereas we turned up feeling reasonably okay because our new jackets are much better. Um, still hot. He's throwing his underpants around. Um, we're still hot, but I really only got sweaty vaguely one the one time. The, the wind's just going through. It's warm winds. So you can't expect to feel cool. They're not cooling jackets, but it's stopping us sweating so much, which is great. So we're not getting so dehydrated. So we stopped, and now we're all sweaty. We've got this uh, this room for the... <laughs> He'll join in a minute, we've got something on. Um, 
yeah, we bought this room. It's called a bungalow. It's a room with a bathroom, so it's like any other hotel room. But it has got. Moon in your pictures. No, we don't. No, Carl. <laughs> right, that's going on the outtakes. <laughs> I'm saving that bit. <laughs> yeah. If we ever do a presentation, that's going to open the presentation. <laughs> we got here early, which is really good. We haven't come that far today. Just there, look. Ah. No, not our, not our trousers. We've lowered the tone of the place already. We're hanging our sweaty trousers up. <gasps> swimming pool. So we go. I'm in my swimming costume. I think Carl's decent now. Do you want to say hello now? You got your trunks on. Hello. There you go. I'm still got my boobles right, out. That's enough from him, right? <laughs> We're going to have a swim, try to stop sweating, and then we'll see what the rest of the day brings. We've also, this, no, 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 no. We've also got a hammock right outside our room. But there's the room. There's Carl. He's just made me swing, and now I can't get out. I'm not very good at hammocks. I can't get out. <laughs> So, what's the purpose of a swimming pool? Well, to cool off, isn't it? Yes, the water's baking. baking <laughs> it's like a bath. It is like a bath. <laughs> it's like a cool it's like a bath. It's isn't like it? a slightly cool bath, isn't it? When you wake yeah. up, the water's gone a little bit cool. Yeah, I've had baths a lot colder than this. Yeah, but it's nice actually. It is just nice. We might, because over there, over there, there's a graveyard. Okay, I wasn't thinking of the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> over there is apparently a graveyard. There's a but also, over there is the beach and the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we'll have a dip and then walk to the beach because we've cooled off and then have a dip in the sea. We'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on. So today's ride wasn't the most exciting. Hang on, I've got to practice my... We're not doing any more synchronised swimming. You didn't even get it anyway. I did a perfect foot up. Look, like that. Perfect. Oh, without well, sinking. Yeah. Like a... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't the most interesting ride today. Well, it was interesting, that's not fair. The road wasn't a great interesting road for a biker. It was quite interesting coming through all the towns and the villages. We chose the road because it went through the two volcanoes. Yeah. Apparently you hike up one volcano and then you see the volcano, the view from the other. So we thought and it might the road, be a glimpse. The road that goes through the middle, you should better see both volcanoes. Problem is, they were actually obscured by cloud and pollution pollution it's so much pollution in the so air so sad around the town yeah which we were in. i can't remember the name of antigua antigua so much pollution in there it's such a shame it's so sad so, well, i blame the buses those buses we will blame the buses for everything we will <laughs> never blame the buses in the uk ever again the amount of smoke that these black soot well, just so much soot comes out the back of the buses but to be fair they get the old they probably buy up the old american school buses don't they yeah and old vehicles from richer countries come to retire in the not so rich countries and i so i suspect they've never heard of preventative maintenance it's all about if it breaks down then repair it yeah so they won't be changing diesel filters or fuel filters Anything like that it's, at all. And it is what it is, but the, if the bus will put its foot down to accelerate, and literally you can't see, you can't see the back of the bus. Because you're engulfed in black smoke. Yeah. And no. it is what it is, but it's such a shame for the environment. It really is such a shame for the environment. Yeah. I'm just saying, I haven't moved, and yet I'm disappearing out of picture. You're not disappearing out of picture. Oh. <laughs> behave yourself. Jamour. <laughs> what? Jamour. <laughs> oh God, cut again. <laughs> I just hang on, you can just hold you on. Just hang on. Oh, just... okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> cut it there. Um, yeah, it is, it is a great shame for the environment. As I say, you couldn't see the... Maybe if you did the hike, we weren't... We didn't want to do the hike. You can't hike... Well, you couldn't have a, a no. hike. We'd have to stay another couple of days, but... We wondered whether the hike would get us above yeah. the pollution. To then see the top of the other volcano, which is constantly... Um, erupting. Erupting, apparently. Mm. But anyway, there's a nice string of volcanoes in El Salvador, which we will attempt to see instead. Yeah. I want to see... A, we have seen a volcano erupting, to be fair. We're up in Mexico. Yeah. Meanwhile, the view around here is fantastic. These little bungalows. Yeah, let me show you this little place. See it from the pool. This is view from the pool. So you've got a couple of rooms there. And you've got... The kitchen area is just in there. And there's an outside kitchen area, the cooker and water and 
I didn't see a base there must be a sink yeah I can see a tap for sink and then there's these two rooms this one's ours here and then I think there's two rooms there or one big bungalow I'm not sure there's, there's two couples in there and then the pool and then the nice little rose fence with the cemetery you can't see the cemetery I go under the waterfall should we go under the waterfall you can just sit in there <laughs> Where's the graveyard? Are they graves as well? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Got like a palaper over the top. Yeah. A bit posh. We've got to keep them dry. Yeah. The beach. We decided not to swim. It's the Pacific Ocean. And the last time we were at the Pacific Ocean. No, Porto Escondido was the last place. So every time we've been to the Pacific it's been really rough. We couldn't swim it in Puerto Escondido. Um, That's not quite true. You swam in it in uh, Washington. Yeah, it was still rough. Yeah, but you still, you still swam in it. I said, yes, I said when we were at Puerto Escondido we couldn't swim in it. No. Um, I did swim in it in, um, it was either Washington or Oregon. Washington, I think. But this is why. We won't come out on camera, but there's a huge, this down here is really steep, really steep. So it's, it's like a massive bank. And then those waves are tremendous. Look at that. Whoa, blimey. That would swallow you up. That would actually hurt. It's wonderful yeah. to watch, but I think that would actually hurt if it landed on you. A shame so we won't be having a dip i'm not even going to paddle because it's just that is just too that is just too steep you can't that's see why, it there that's why all the properties down here have pools that's why they have pools because you can't get in the sea no shame whoa did you see that over there blimey look at this one look at the sun oh my goodness <laughs> that is incredible Oh my word! It's finished, yeah. No! Oh my word. Oh, I feel the spray of that one. Mm.